Happy holidays from all of us here at the ZNS Television Network. Welcome back. Junior Achievement Grands Bahama embarking on what they hope will be another successful year. The program, which aims to groom local students into entrepreneurs, recently held its charter night at the Bishop Michael Eldon School Auditorium. Kimberly Mullings was there. Junior Achievement is into its 34th year on Grand Bahama. This year, nine members of Corporate Grand Bahama are sponsoring the program, of which over 300 high school students are involved. The elected presidents receive their charters from their companies to begin operating legally on the island. Chairman of the Junior Achievement on Grand Bahama, Donald Glass, says the level of interest remains high. We are truly gratified by the kind of support we've been receiving over the years from the, from the corporate uh, community. Not just financial, but we have their, their managers, their supervisors, who are, who are advisors. And that's really a key element in the program because without the advisors, you won't be able to have this program. Glass says JA is proving to be beneficial as the student-run companies produce products which can compete with those locally. What we find sometimes is that they get so excited that they have products that they create and that they can use really and compete with local companies. So we are trying to find a way for them, and the government is doing that right now as a matter of fact, give them the incentive for them to carry the ideas that they have now while in high school, even beyond that. Youth Coordinator for the Ministry of Youth, Sports and Culture, Grand Bahama, Carla Brown Roker, noting that JA serves as a wonderful feeder system for budding entrepreneurs. What I believe um, they can take away from all of this is to come away with the business etiquette that is necessary to become employers, to open companies and businesses in Grand Bahama, and they would have had the early um, education in order to do so. The Grand Bahama Port Authority has had their top team on the island for the past five years. Executive Advisor Dr. Talina Smith says the advisors consider it a pleasure to be a part of JA. We appreciate the feeling just to give back to the students. Uh, JA is not only about teaching students about entrepreneurship through finance, human resources, but it's all about mentoring them. And I think that's what we appreciate as a company, as advisors, just giving back our time and being able to mentor and coach our students to be young entrepreneurs. The executive advisor noting that the Port Authority remains as confident as they are motivated to win Company of the Year for the sixth consecutive time with the GBPA Masters. Kimberly Mullings, ZNAS Network News. The Reach Out Youth Organization preparing for an annual Christmas tradition. Each year, the organization puts smiles on the faces of hundreds of residents through its Christmas giveaway and a family fun day. Founder Dudley Said is excited once again to make such a positive impact on the lives of so many. We'll be providing a thousand hot meals for families, also 1,000 toys, 1,000 shoes for the wider community of Grand Bahama. On that day, we'll have the Urban Renewal Band. We'll be performing. But our real purpose of having is because of the economy of Grand Bahama. This year's celebration will be in honor of Vicki Martell, who operates the Santa's Helpers program and has provided thousands of toys to children around the island for the past 40 years. Gerald Investments is also among the sponsors assisting in this effort. Kids don't understand no jobs, no money, nothing to eat, not a roof over my head, barely enough to eat. So that's why I continually do it. It gives me a purpose to know that I brought smiles to children's faces. This is something that we do every year. Um, we sponsor Dudley. Dudley is a part of our family. He's one of our, we adopted him last year. So every year he gets a check. This check is for $3,600. The Reach Out Christmas event will take place on Sunday, December 17th at the Community Center on Banyan Lane from 2 to 6 p.m. And now it is time to Ask the Doctor. Hi and welcome. J.K. Nassau sent this question. 
I heard about alcohol poisoning and when I go to parties, especially during the holidays, I drink a lot and I even throw up sometimes if I drink too much. Should I be worried about alcohol poisoning? Jake, thanks for your question. Alcohol poisoning occurs when a person drinks a lot of alcohol in a short space of time. It can affect your heart rate, breathing, gag reflex, body temperature, and even result in coma or death. Symptoms can include confusion, vomiting, seizures, slow or irregular breathing, blue tinge or pale skin, low body temperature, or passing out and unconsciousness. All these symptoms do not need to be present, but if you or someone in your presence has two or more of them, please seek medical emergency attention immediately. Remember, drinking and driving can put your life and the lives of others at risk. So if you drink, drink in moderation and drink responsibly, especially during the upcoming holidays. I'm Dr. Monique Pratt, and this has been Ask the Doctor. Don't go away, a check on sports is up next with Ricardo Lightborn.